I think the Dodgers, who have till January 6th to make a decision on the final year of the Trevor Bauer contract, should bring him back. Now, that's not a very popular decision, but walk, I'll walk through this with you. He collected $42 million from the Dodgers for the first year and a half that he pitched. Then he was put on administrative leave, but he was still paid while he was off the roster during this whole sexual misconduct investigation. Then, of course, he got suspended and he lost money. And then he appealed the 394-game suspension. They cut it in half. And the arbitrator ruled he must be reinstated immediately by the Dodgers. Well, the Dodgers, by virtue of the reinstatement, will owe him another $22 million. So he's taken $42 million. He still is, he's going to get $22 million whether he pitches in L.A. or somewhere else. The Dodgers need pitching. The Dodgers outside of Julio Urias and Clayton Kershaw are kind of iffy with pitchers three, four, and five. And I know we've talked about the fact they've got five young arms that are in the farm system at Oklahoma City and back to AA San Antonio. That being said, those kids have pitched in the minors have not really pitched in the majors. The Dodgers have to pay him money. So if I were a king, if I were the Dodgers, and I don't care what you think, <laughs> if I were king, I would sit with Trevor Bauer and say, we will reinstate you. You will get the final $22 million. You will apologize, and you will go to counseling, and you will pitch for us this coming season. And he's pitching for his next contract. Now, he could respond and say, no, I don't like the way I've been treated. Well, I understand that. But you painted yourself into this corner with this, quote, rough sex situation. You got involved with this, this woman in San Diego. And by the way, you're the one that was involved with two other women with the same environment when you're in Cleveland with the Indians. And before that, when you're in AAA in Columbus. So you have to share some blame. He, he might say, I want to become a free agent. But please tell me who out there is going to touch him. He's kind of toxic a lot of places. So I think he needs to resuscitate his career by going back on the mound. And he was 83 and 59 before the suspension occurred. Resuscitate his career, rebuild his reputation, have a good season for the Dodgers. Now you'll argue with me. You want this guy representing my franchise, but the history of baseball, you go back and look, you know, John, if you just Google guys who've been in trouble, who served their penalty and then got brought back, whether it was the steroid guys or the DUI guys or domestic abuse guys, although nobody was involved as badly as he was, they've resuscitated their career. So the question is, does he deserve a second chance? Do you bring him back and allow him to be the front end of what might be a first place pitching staff again? I might be unpopular today. No, I know I'm unpopular today with my public stance. That's what I would do. I, I don't have to subscribe to his lifestyle, but he owes the Dodgers something. He owes them for the money he took when he wasn't pitching because of the union allowed him to be paid while on administrative leave. And he owes him $22 million for this coming season. That's what I would do if I were Carlos Correa's agent, accept a structure with options to keep him because his value on the open market isn't going to be strong. And that's what I would do if I were the Dodgers. And Bauer should accept that because Bauer will be unemployed if he thinks he's going on the open market because I don't think a lot of people are going to touch him because he is radioactive. That's what I think. Your turn to argue with me. You might be wrong. I'm a talk show host. <laughs> yeah. Well, so what? It's a sunk cost for the Dodgers, right? I mean, they've got to pay him regardless. Yeah. So if they, let's just say they cut him loose, they still got to pay the guy. And then, and then who's going to sign him? I don't know. If I'm the Dodgers, I wouldn't touch this guy with a 100 foot pole. I mean, this is the era of me too. And, you know, this is a big money situation. They can't be damaging the brand of their franchise. And they got all those young guys coming up. It seems like the Dodgers are taking a step back this year, you know, with the getting the salary cap you know, optimized. I say you give those young guys a shot and you cut Trevor Bauer loose and just say, we have want nothing to do with you. But you don't you don't agree with anybody deserving a second chance anywhere. Oh, no, I do agree with second chances, but he's had second chances and third chances. He keeps getting in trouble. So in this case, no, um, I would cut him loose. He's still going to get paid. So, you know, there's that. Now,